Morning, Con. Morning. Plan for today is to put railings up around the patios we poured. Connor's got an idea for a nice little rustic style ra uh, railing. Yep. We can get rid of the cones then. <laughs> <laughs> cones aren't protecting anybody. No. He's already got these posts lapped. And what we'll do is to lap them over the concrete. And I got some anchors. We're going to anchor them in and uh, anchors away. Okay, I got to do one hole each one of these. That one's plum. We got a plum one. Haha. -ha. How did that happen? I need a drink. Yeah, me too. What do you want? Water. Water? That stuff will kill you. All right, next one. Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Really is a two man job, you know what? The outer skin's stronger, you know? It's like harder. The whole thing's hard. Not moving at all. Okay, well, before we kill our bit, let's do another post, do the next two holes. We'll come back to that. Good thinking. You don't think we're hitting iron, do you? throw rebar off this edge that far, did we? Oh, no.
these old flooring boards, they were off a deck that we tore down for somebody and we, we saved the old boards. And I'm gonna rip them in half. They're, they're two by sixes. We're gonna rip them in half to uh, two by two and three quarter each. Then we're gonna use those to block out our railing. Make sure I'm getting it right. Well, now we got the chop saw. We're going to try getting really accurate cuts, huh, Con? Yep. You want to use a you want to use a knife to mark with so you get a razor edge? Guess not. Oh boy. Okay, so I was ripping these boards and it dulled that blade right down. Now it's just down to where it just doesn't even cut now, it's just like tearing fiber. So that was a new blade, but that's what happens when they reuse form boards that have concrete and the concrete just gets embedded in them and then it tears them up. I've been doing all the cuts, he's been doing all the installing, and I think this is a good look. We gotta snug it up, a little wiggly still. Oh, it's got a little swale to it, a little curve. It does, that was, those ones need to tip out. Oh yeah, that might be just following the concrete. Remember we had that little flare there for some reason with the blocks. Yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll see what happens. We might just live with it. I'm not too worried about it to be honest. Nope. I'm going to throw another pole here. That general area so we have a corner. That'll stiffen up this corner. Getting there. <laughs> a hot day today. Woo wee man, we're hot aren't we Con? Yes it is. See, it's a new Diablo blade. It's like we do Diablo blade commercials. They're good. I know. Well, that's clever, Connor. Yep, it sure is. So you're gonna fill that out. Nice, I like it. Yeah, I think it'll work. I just gotta get it positioned correctly. Wanna hold it? Well, I'm kind of holding the camera right now. Hold it on the other way. Oh. Hold it with your hand. Oh, I need to get my battery back and my thingy. Here, just use mine, it's on my hip. I heard it hit the ground. So basically this whole thing's made out of scrap lumber. It's junk. <coughs> we use junk. Junk. Is it still where you want it? I'm still holding it. Ah! Yep. It is. Yeah, I think that's cool. That holds the corner tight. That's all I need. Boy, it sure did stiffen things up already. We've got that crazy rubberized decking. 
Yeah. Uh, we got a Crazy rubberized deck paint. I'm not even worried about it. Well, you want to plumb that up? I made shims. Yep, let's do it. So what we're going to wind up doing is I get a plumb stick, I think. We have to tighten that bolt, and I've got, I made some shims up. So we're going to put a shim either one side of the bolt or the other to angle the that post. Really it's in my pocket. The whole thing needs to shift this way. So, so that means. So we got to shim the bottom underneath the bolt. So that's pretty much the, the secret is the bolt represents the fulcrum. Yes, the fulcrum. Yeah, I knew all about fulcrums. So you could shim above it or below it. We're going to shim below it to drive it that direction, yeah, right? Exactly. So wow. you can't do it. I can too. Not one handed. I can too. Give it a push. Damn. Eh. Luckily, I grew that third arm. It evolved. <laughs> <laughs> I finally evolved that third arm. Now is it plumb? Did that even do anything? Should do a little more, but it's in the lines. Well, you want to drive another shim in on the other side? Uh, yeah. Oh, you got a lot more room on that side. Okay, I think you're good, because you know what? Now you can tighten her down. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Does that work? Yeah, it'll work. It's perfect. I don't have much. That one's perfect, too. Don't forget, we did that numbers all the way from that wall. Need to go that way a little. What? Well, that's in the lines. I guess we'll leave it. Maybe we got to draw that side tighter to I the think, building. I think we do, actually. <laughs> Well, that's tight, man. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be pretty good. That's tight. perfect. So that's dead on. It's rugged, too. I guess we do this one next. This one looks like it's got to go towards the barn a little bit. Quite a bit. Just a little. That's about it. No shim? Yep. Okay, I'll tug it. I'm really tugging. Foof. Can, Caser. I'll let you tighten it. Case is three, and it knows how to put nuts on bolts already. I think we got it. That's pretty. That's pretty plumb right there. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Eric, tighten that up. Push. That a boy. Turn that. Push. Turn it. There you got it. There we go. I got a feeling we'll be tightening them every year. Yep. A little wiggly. You know what? You need a shim on the top side just to get rid of the wiggle. Pulled in where it wanted to be tight, you know? Yeah, but if you do that, it's going to tug it beyond plumb. Okay. Looks like I won this one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the railings came out pretty nice. All scrap lumber. These were all these 4x4s. When I bought the barbecue down there, the backyard was full of these. That was a daycare center and they had made, built a corral for the kids <laughs> out back. And they had all these sticking in the ground as, as posts, fence posts around. So I tore them all out when we, because we didn't need them. And these, these were deck boards. They're two by sixes that were used as deck boards and we ripped them in half to make these styles. So it worked out pretty nice. All scrap. So. Instead of the landfill, it's got another life for a while. How long you think, hon? Till what? How long will that railing stay there? Till we take it down. Till we take it down, it's going to yeah. be a long time. It's going to be a while. I, I think we'll leave it. I think we'll leave it. I Eventually, I want some type of steps, and I was thinking about steps off there, but I that's a couple years out. Yeah. Well, steps will be nice for wedding pictures and stuff. Yeah. That's, but, that's the main reason for steps. But now I'm thinking of doing something different because I, I like how that looks yeah so we'll see yep we'll things see. evolve they do evolve so we got the patio done pretty happy about that got the railing up looking good so hey thanks for watching like subscribe and all that stuff help me out with the algorithm I'm just almost to 500 subscribers so that's kind of neat so thanks again for watching guys we'll see you on the next one have a great day